in using the Swedish model for their school's policy, the Conservative Party is promising parents at home that they have a lot to look forward to. They point out that Swedish children from the poorest areas have been able to escape failing state schools. And crucially, they go on, standards have risen across all state schools. Well, that's not what we've been told. A few years ago, it was noticed that, in fact, standards across all schools in Sweden were slipping. International comparative studies as well as national research confirmed the decline. It's not known why, but the slide began at around the time the schools were introduced. This competition between schools that uh, was uh, one of the reasons uh, for introducing the new schools hasn't led to better re results. The students in the new schools, they have in general better standards, uh, but uh, it has to do with uh, their parents, uh, th their background. They, they, they come from uh, well-educated families in, in the uh, middle class. So overall results are down. And there are strong indications of increased social segregation inside the school system. It won't be what the Conservatives want to hear. They even told me that their view that competition improves all schools was based on a hunch. So what does the Swedish experience really tell us? The lesson is that it's not easy to, to uh, find a way to uh, continue school improvement. And we can't say here in Sweden that this competition between the new schools and the ordinary schools, the state schools, has led to better results.